Welcome to Plus Weekly Update for the week of November 1st, 2012. This week in staff news, TGM GM has unfortunately resigned from his position as mod. He was great at helping out the players and came up with a few good event ideas. He also started making his own dungeon, which hopefully Kapawi will be able to finish off soon. We all say thank you very much to him and hopefully we'll see him on the server. I miss TGM GM. He was my baby. Why are all my mods leaving me, Dancer? I don't know, Fred. <laughs> uh, it's not fair. In better news, CXO Jinu has been promoted to admin. Congratulations to her. They grow up so fast. Yes, congratulations. Okay. It's getting very crowded in the admin position nowadays. Yeah. I'm looking at Fred. Get out. <laughs> I'm sorry, I've put on a lot of weight, I understand. <laughs> 300 pounds of admin fury. <laughs> Globeman news this week, we have a new special Halloween dungeon that you guys can do, called the Scourge of Stingy Jack. The storyteller wrote for this dungeon, It's all Hollow's Eve. The one night of the year, souls are free to roam the plains of block empires. Stingy Jack, or Jack the Lantern, as he is better known, once tricked the devil into preventing him from taking his soul. However, on his death he was not allowed into heaven, and the devil held his word, refusing him entry into hell. Now, on this fateful night, he roams each year, looking to trap yet another soul with him. Jack has settled in the New Haven, and he requires any travellers or pastors by to partake in his trial. If they can complete it, then they're free. If not, then you will be condemned to wander the dusty eternity of the desert of the real with Jack. Forever. You will be able to do this dungeon until sometime in November, so do it while you can. Yesterday, for Halloween events, we had several awesome events that you guys participated in. We had Invasion of New Haven, and a special arena event involving the new 1.4 as well as the, the boss. If you would like to view the video of it, uh, go to the weekly update forum post and you can check out the video there or go to the YouTube page. Also, if you were in New Haven any time from yesterday, you would have noticed Estrin's Spooky Shack where you could have trick-or-treated and got some awesome gifts. Unfortunately, that is closed now as it is no longer Halloween. So I hope you guys enjoyed what you got and we all want to wish you a happy Halloween. So, as you all know, Minecraft 1.4 update came out last week. Uh, unfortunately, the server is kind of crashy and some plugins have dumped out, like Multiverse, but thankfully we've managed to get everything back up and running so that you can play. We'd like to go through some of the features with you right now, uh, some of the things you'll we'll be able to do on the server coming from the update, and some of the things which we'll uh, have to keep a little eye on. So, obviously, it's been the uh, pretty scary update. And it's added things like beacons, carrots on sticks, frames, flower pots, potatoes, carrots, pumpkin pies, and and on the pretty side. You'll be allowed everything on the pretty side as far as we're aware. Beacons are a bit laggy at the moment, but as soon as bucket updates to make them a bit less laggy, we'll be happy to let everyone use them as much as possible. Um, and anvils aren't going to be restricted, at least now, so you're free to use them as much as you like to. On the scary side, there's a new boss, the Wither. With the skeletons, zombie infections, bats and witches, monsters are smarter and stronger. The new boss, the Wither, the one everyone's been talking about, uh, we're going to have to keep control of that because obviously it breaks and destroys blocks. So unless your house wants to get destroyed, we, uh, we're not really happy to let that go around. Uh, with the skeletons are similar because obviously if you get with the heads you can then make withers. Uh, we'll try and find a way of allowing people to kill and spawn with the skeletons so that you can have fun with them. But uh, uh, obviously we need to make sure that no one's able to spawn with us. Zombie infection, that should still be fine. If there are any NPC villages left in any of the worlds we have, uh, they should all be able to be infected by zombies. Bats and witches are being added as well, so if you see any of them around, feel free to kill them and maybe they'll spawn back. And uh, obviously, we can't really do anything about the improved AI, so hopefully you don't die, because dungeons, dungeons will be a little bit harder now. Um, we plan on making use of these new features in Phase 2. Uh, hopefully, 
making a mobster plugin that's compatible with the new armor for mobs. Um, and so, yeah, if you see any of them around, have fun. With the release of 1.4, players are now able to take each other's heads after they've killed each other. This was uh, made by a very clever dev, in fact. And, yeah, a lot of people have been uh, going after staff members, uh, trying to get the heads, uh, using them as trophies. This is quite similar to what happened when people were uh, getting books and getting uh, staff and other people to sign them. Uh, so far, nobody has been able to take my head. So, um, I... You know, good luck to you, and uh, I think you should all know I'm planning on auctioning it off. Um, happy hunting, and uh, kill Estrin. Don't kill me. Yeah, kill Estrin. Don't kill Estrin. Not allowed to Don't have my head, ever. He's, he's the longest last... He's probably been here longer than most people, so you should kill him. No. <laughs> Not saying you should kill him. <laughs> You shouldn't. Old age pensioners should die. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Although it's Halloween, we don't condone murder. Okay. On that note, I will pay anyone who gets Dancer's head first 10,000 silver. Um, I'm you're cheap. Out there right now. Silver. Oh, great. <laughs> so there you go. Bounty on Dancer's head. Whoever gets it first and shows it to me, 10,000 silver. There you go, people. Fantastic. So, Predge. Fred picks on you, and so you naturally pick on me. It's a cycle. Now you need to pick on me or somebody else, like somebody fluffy. <laughs> 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 well, that's one the way to take care of the situation. We'll get back to you with phase two. As you all know, there's been a lot of discussion on phase two, and if you watch the last weekly update, then you'll know that there was a lot going on. A thought on. Unfortunately, I'm afraid that Dragon Travel has been taken out due to it being very, very laggy. Like, as much fun as I had last time with it, like I was explaining to you guys, I was pretty much going crazy about it. It is pretty laggy, and it would require a lot more than what we can stably have right now. So, um, from on behalf of all staff, I apologize for not having Dragon Travel, and on behalf of myself, I apologize for getting your hopes up. Uh, Conquest. Um, Adam John... He's been really busy, you know, he's got his own life, he's got things to do, so he hasn't been able to keep up with updating Conquest. Conquest is, it's quite outdated by now, um, and eventually, with Minecraft continuing updating, it is eventually going to break. So, we're just going to keep it going until it breaks, but when it does break, we are going to have to drop it. So, again, more apologies, uh, it's looking pretty bleak so far, but uh, let's see if we can, uh, oh, no, more bleak with skills. Um... Dilly's change in position, um, we've had a slight setback in terms of what we can do with uh, skills. Uh, custom skills may not be as prominent as we had originally hoped, so, uh, again, <laughs> um, we apologize on behalf of Block Empires and the staff. Um, but we are planning on using a more basic plugin, uh, which we hope will be much more easier to use, and we hope that it can make up for the lacking in skills that we've had lately. Uh, picking up on a bit more of a positive note, uh, we have a definite plan for NPCs and how they will be added. Uh, we've got a plugin extension uh, for it to enable quests for NPCs, so like you'll go talk to like a testificate or something and uh, he'll give you a quest and then he'll give you like a reward, like maybe a bit of silver or a sword. Or, or... So, you know, looking forward to that. Uh, I personally love RPGs with quests. And last but not least, showcases. Uh, I'm glad to... Actually, no, I'm thrilled to tell you all that we are 100% bringing back showcases. So, well, permitting, of course. Um, we're. I'm personally really looking forward to it. I can't say for the rest of the stuff. Uh, Corey, Dancer? I'm really looking forward to it as well. Yeah? I, I like showcases a lot. I love showcases, just like the little display going on. What do you think, uh, Estrin? Yeah, actually, I'm really excited for showcases. We had it in uh, 1.0, I believe, and people had a lot of fun with it because I was able to make like New Haven booths and stuff for people to set up. Shows. So I'm really looking forward to having that back on the server again. I hope you guys will like it too. Yeah, I, I mean, personally, I, I loved uh, working in uh, our little shops we had, like uh, just in New Haven. I thought it was fantastic. And the little, uh, I had like a little uh, icon displayed above the uh, half slab or half stone or whatever you want. I thought that was fantastic. So, you know, I'm really looking forward to that and I hope the rest of you are as well. Uh, that's pretty much everything for 2.5. Um, if you go on the thread on the forums under news and announcements, you'll see that we've finished the cave. 
uh, which is actually a very large room where we're going to have all the showcases. And I've built a bridge. So that's pretty much what's going on. And Articuno's made a bit of progress thanks to Wazak and Dancer and a couple other stuff. Yay, Articuno! <laughs> yeah. Loving if you that don't bit. know what Articuno is, you have not been on this server for very long. I don't know what it is. And I will call you a noob. I don't know what it is, but I'm just... Rich! I'm just very Rich! Sh <laughs> I'm sheltered Minecraft-wise. So this week, the community question changed into the staff question for the community. Kitty Travel asked, Would you rather have the airship travel from 1.0 or ruins outside the capitals to travel to major cities using portals? Well, that pretty much wraps up uh, this week's weekly update, guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, you know, rate, subscribe, uh, give us a thumbs up. If you're on Planet Minecraft, you know, uh, give us some diamonds. Uh, the server IP should be uh, listed in the description down below. And, uh, you know, I hope you enjoyed this interview. Uh, I'm sure Dan's are interested in do too, as cynical as they are. And uh, yeah. we'll see you next week. I'm not that cynical. You are. You're really cynical. You're English. We're all, we're all English. It's very cynical. I'm, so I'm ashamed. Bet you're from Cornwall if you're not that cynical. <laughs>